Hi there, Ezzy from WebEx Events here. In this video, I'll go over the lobby feature. The lobby feature is a great way to introduce and acclimate virtual attendees to the event app. It links to your event app's most important content, such as agenda sessions, speakers, and sponsors, so it's a great way to encourage attendees to explore other features. Let's go over how to set up this powerful feature. By default, when you set up the event app, the lobby feature is already included. If you need to add a lobby feature, in the navigation bar under Event App, select Features, then click the Add Features button. Click the Add button under the lobby feature, then click the Done button. Hover over the lobby feature, then click the Edit button. The lobby has 11 modules, four of which are included by default Event Countdown, Cover Image, Lobby Description, and the Happening Now banner. The event countdown shows the number of days, hours, and minutes until the event begins. There are no settings for this module. Simply click the toggle to set the event countdown inactive or active. The cover image module simply displays the cover image from the event app's appearance tab. This module also contains no settings. However, if you'd like to preview the cover image, click the three dots icon to the right and select Preview. The lobby description includes the description from the event app's basics tab. Keep this description or write a new message just for the lobby. To update the lobby description, click the three dots icon and select edit. In addition to updating the description, you can decide whether to show event status above the lobby description all the time, only during the event, or only after the event. Finally, decide whether to show the event location in the lobby description by activating or deactivating the Show Event Location toggle. When you're finished, click the Save Changes button. The Happening Now banner displays all the agenda sessions that are currently active and all sessions starting in the next 15 minutes. If there aren't any active or upcoming sessions, the module is hidden. Now let's go over adding more modules to the lobby. To add a new module, Click the New Item button and then click the Feature Type dropdown. You can add an image, the Agenda module which displays all scheduled sessions for a day, speakers, sponsors, exhibitors, custom list items, and live streams. For this example, let's add the Speakers module. Enter a display name that appears in the top right corner of the module in the lobby. This should be a short, informative name that tells attendees what to expect. Next, click the Add Speakers button. Click the checkbox next to each speaker you want to add, or click the checkbox next to the Feature Name column heading to select all speakers. Then, click the Add Speakers button. Back in the New Module modal, click and drag to reorder speakers in the list, or click the Settings icon to remove a speaker from the module. Finally, select whether to display the speakers in a grid view or carousel view. Grid view shows the first several items in the module with a Show More option to expand the module vertically, and the Carousel view displays the first several items in a horizontal layout with an arrow that lets attendees scroll through the rest of the items. When you're finished, click the Save Changes button. Repeat this process to add as many modules as you need. Remember, click the Settings icon next to a module to edit or remove it. Click and drag to reorder them. Any changes you make are reflected in the lobby instantly.